Also, with my co-workers, we got a Canadian patent on the decreasing the toxicity of asbestos by coloring it with organic dyes. Yeah, could you tell me a bit more about that? Yes. Because that's, that's also a very uh, hot topic uh, nowadays. This, this I consider my best work in mm -hmm. this uh, field. We had the help from uh, department, a professor in uh, the Department of Biochemistry in the uh, Faculty of Medicine at Laval. So we uh, dyed the asbestos fibers with different organic dyes and sent it to him to test for their toxicity. And he found out that some dyes decrease the toxicity of asbestos greatly. And that's why we, get a, we got a patent on that. But unfortunately, at that time, uh, we couldn't get uh, research funds to continue our work because at that time, all research funds were given to lawyers to defend the case of Canada uh, in the United States against uh, 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 the environmental agency in the United States. And by the, by the way, they won the case. But it was too late because uh, after many years, the postdoctor fellow in my uh, group, he left and I retired. And that's why the project uh, did not uh, was not followed up, oh, okay. but uh, we publish many papers on this topic, and we are satisfied that we get a, we got a patent, and unfortunately the uh, the uh, asbestos industry collapsed completely in Canada uh, and all in the world. Although the solution was to if if they color the asbestos, they could decrease its toxicity. And coloring asbestos in water uh, and is not a problem because most of the asbestos is used to make asbestos cement. Mm. And uh, they put asbestos in water to make uh, the pipes of cement and this uh, necessitates adding few coloring matters to the water and then uh, it will not increase the, uh, the, the technology too much. But as I said, uh, the industry collapsed completely. Mm -hmm.